Hey everyone, this is the battle with uh, Lean Pockets, the and also the fourth round to PK Sparks' turn mixed tournament battle on his uh, site Poco Ladder. Yeah, th uh, you might be wondering where the third round is. Well, my the my opponent for the third round didn't show up, so he just kind of yeah he was a no show. But anyways, um, we both have lead Uxies and tricks me a choice scarf, and I set up Stealth Rock so. Yeah, I'm kind of forced to switch, and I go into Ray Jace, and he's like, "Yay!" about life, and um, <laughs> so uh, he yawns me, and I'm thinking, okay, if anything, I want, I want um, happy to be um, you know, asleep more than anyone else, really. So I go for an ice beam, and he goes for a yawn again, predicting my switch, but I just let happy sleep because happy's kind of tired of being happy. So I go into Entei, and Entei's like, "I love you a long time," and um. He's exerting pressure, and uh, he turns, and I'm like, <sighs> I don't really know who he's going to switch into. So he goes into thermal, his heat ran, and I'm like, wow, okay, um, I don't have anything. So I go into Uxie, thinking that he's going to earth power, and he does, and so now he switches. I U-turn, because I'm, like, choiced, and he goes into cumulus, and I'm like, crap, this thing is going to be a big problem for me. <laughs> um... Because usually all Rehikus are. But thankfully I brought my heat run this time, yo! And, yeah, so my heat run's back in action! And she's like, Rrr. And so he plays it smart, goes into, um, 100101, and, um, traces my flash fire as I was going to flamethrower. Um, yeah, it's kind of too early to predict, predict, so I go into happy, and he's just sitting there, like, <laughs> sleeping, because he's cool, and... And I, th I was thinking he was going to thunder wave me, and since Happy's sleeping, he can just sleep all he wants and not be paralyzed. Anyway, so he switches out and goes into his Registeel, and his Registeel is going to be a jerk and pick up Happy while he's sleeping and toss him everywhere in the room. That's why if you hurt when you wake up from sleeping, it's because your Pokemon size will toss you in your sleep. But anyways, um, <laughs> so Happy's still sleeping away, sleeping all of his worries away. He sleeps for a long time. There's like a third turn, I believe. Or second turn. Okay. I think he sleeps for like four turns. And there's three... <laughs> no, he, I think he wakes up in the fourth turn, actually. Um, as he, says, he was predicting my switch and went for a toxic. But now he's just going to seismic toss me. And now Happy woke up, thunderwaved it. Um, kind of useless now, but whatever. Um, yeah, so... I, now I seismic toss, and so we're just, this is like the battle of the Reggies. Um, and now he thunderwaves me, and I'm like, jerk, you're just trying to be like happy, and this Reggie was like, please let me be. And Re happy is just like, I don't think so, because I'm better than you. Not really. Um, but I, I love Reggies anyway, so, um, like I'm still using, um, seismic toss, and I believe, yeah, it gets, a bit haxy, cause I use seismic toss, and he's and he gets parahaxed, and yeah. But then my next turn, I believe I get uh, parahaxed, so it kind of evened out, yeah. And he uses seismic toss and finishes happy off, and happy's like, <gasps> no, and dies unfortunately. Um. So I go in a Gallade, and I know I can obviously outspeed this thing, and I use close combat, and I and I pretty much took a you know a Registeel took a close combat to the face at full health. I get a crit, did not matter in the slightest, um, really. <laughs> um, I brought down Registeel, it's high, yeah, that whatever. Anyway, so now he goes into a Scizor, and I'm like, okay, if he's banded, I'm screwed. If he's a Sword Stance, expecting me to switch, I'm screwed. I'm just gonna stay in and close combat, because I was thinking, I'm like, I still have you know this Pokemon for. I still have my Heatran for Heatran, so I was right. He was probably gonna sword stance, thinking I was gonna switch, and that oh, that saved me a bunch of trouble. He misses the first fire blast, and then he misses the second fire blast, and I said I was thinking to myself, man, that sucks. Um, this is that's why I have flamethrower. Now he's forced to switch. Um, and he goes into you know his Porygon two. 
And I believe I just Dragon Pulse, just in case of you thinking I was going to Earth Power this time, and he could have gone into Uxie. So it was either he's going to go into Uxie or Porygon 2, and I just went for Dragon Pulse either way. And that didn't do anything. And I knew he was going to Thunder Wave, um, so I went into Uxie. Now, which was kind of good, because now Uxie's not as fast, and this thing can go first, hit Uxie, and then I can switch into... Um, Gallade that I know can outspeed this, so he's pretty much forced to switch. Whoa, that was a mouthful. <laughs> so, Gallade comes out, he's like, Whoosh! and, um, and even though I know it's like this thing's like bulky and stuff, um, I know, look at this. Uxie's supposed to be like physically bulky, and this close combat is going to two hit KO, which is awesome for me. Um, so I close combat again, and there goes Uxie, which always makes me sad when Gallade beats the crap out of a cripple. Anyways, um, so he goes back into Heatran, and I know I can't live a Fire Blast if he decides to do that. Um, so I go into Uxie, and what does he do? He uses Earth Power again, and he makes a good move thinking I was going to turn in Earth Powers again just to stay in. Um... But I just go into Gallade, because I know Gallade can take an Earth Power to the face, and I'm going to close combat and get rid of that Heatran. Um, so, yeah, bam. I'm like... <laughs> I think that's like the only move I use with Gallade. But, um, yeah, and there goes the Heatran. So, now he has his Raikou and uh, Porygon 2 left. I just stay in, but with two... Or, yeah, with two special defense drops because he got a special defense drop with the earth power. I'm not going to live a thunderbolt from this thing. So, um, I decided to go into Heatran because I can and I'm hope and I was kind of hoping that this would KO, that earth power would KO. Um, because that's pretty much all I had to stop this, uh, Raikou. But he just goes for hidden power fighting, I believe, since it's super effective. And that doesn't quite KO me, so... So yeah, <laughs> um, uh, Heatran's going to use Earth Power, finish this Raikou off, and I'm about to get up my head of myself, so I'll stop. And now all he has left is this Porygon 2, and I'm going to Earth Power it, but it's not going to quite KO. And he, I think, just discharges and I die, something like that. I get a special defense drop. Woo! <laughs> yeah, he just discharges, I die, and then I go into Entei, to pretty much finish it off. I'm like, man, I hope this I hope this will KO. And so yeah, I get raped by Stealth Rocks. I'm like, Ente love me long time and <laughs> then Ente love me long time and I win. So I advance to the fifth round of the tournament. Wish me luck. Getting a little nervous, kinda just yeah. <laughs> so rate, leave a comment and I will catch you guys later. Bye.